Warning, if you don't like creepy atmospheres, violence and gore, and or eye patches, this review may not be for you. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, now that all the squeamish, eye patch hating infants have left the room, it's time we start this review. So, in anime, there's a small niche genre that is very beloved by its fans, and that is the horror and suspense genre. Now, the reason for the small size of the genre, in my opinion, is that there are very few series that really fall under the horror and suspense genre, so it makes sense that it has a fairly small fan base. Now, with that said, I have very little experience in the anime horror genre, and my few experiences I have had have been, for the most part, not very suspenseful, or not really creepy in the slightest. With all that said, I have to be honest, I approached the next series with a fair amount of caution, not really knowing what I was getting into. Regardless though, that series was another. Another what, you ask? Well, another anime, of course. I'm just kidding, the series was simply called Another, which can really make it confusing as hell when you're trying to bring it up in conversation and talk about it. Because if you ask people if they've seen it, you will end up asking the question, have you seen another, which just sounds like an incomplete question, but I digress. Another is a 12 episode anime series which aired during the winter 2012 anime season, directed by Sutomo Mizushima, and is brought to us by PA Works, which is short for Progressive Animation Works. Bet you didn't know that, asshole. Not that it really matters in the slightest. Anyway, PA Works is the studio that has previously made a name for themselves making series such as Kanan, True Tears, and the smash hit Angel Beats. But before we go any further, let me say that as far as horror anime goes, it didn't really seem like a horror anime. I mean, look at it, it even has romantic comedy and dancing. As 15-year-old Koichi Sakakibara arrives in Yomiyama from Tokyo to stay with his grandparents while his father works in India, he's transferred to class 3-3, but he soon realizes that this class has something that's just off about it. The sense of something frightening in the atmosphere of his new class, something that no one will tell him. At the center of all this, he finds a beautiful girl, Mei Misaki, whom all of her peers seem to treat as if she doesn't even exist. Soon after realizing this, Koichi's fellow classmates start to die violent deaths around him. It is then he realizes that this isn't some mere coincidence, but in fact something much more sinister. Okay, now I won't allow myself to give away any spoilers or specifics of this series due to its short length of this anime, there's very few things to spoil, so me mentioning anything could potentially hinder the enjoyment that you may have otherwise felt if you had not been spoiled beforehand. So with all that said, the story of another, in my opinion, is very interesting to say the least. I mean, I found myself wondering about the mystery behind the certain things like Mei Misaki and why she's treated like she doesn't even exist, and also Class 3 and the violent deaths surrounding it, which at first I thought was a direct cause of a certain someone abusing a certain notebook. This series just made me wonder, which is a good thing in this case, because this series does a good job of giving you detailed answers as to why things are the way they are. I also personally liked how the series had a fairly consistent pace throughout, and although be it somewhat slow, I still found it allowed for the events to unfold in a way that uh, allowed the viewer to not feel like they were being rushed to the story, but at the same time it did not drag out either. One more thing I would like to praise as far as story goes is the unpredictability of the series and how its unpredictable nature of who lives and who dies made for some very well done suspense. Simply because you have no idea what's going to happen next and who the next victim might be. All in all, I found the story of another to be rather interesting and somewhat complex, making it a very enjoyable story indeed. Okay, now with such an interesting story, it is usually good to have an equally interesting cast of characters. Sadly, another falls short in this regard. You see, another's characters for the most part just seem to be so static and unchanging that you don't really care about them. I realized this whenever I saw a number of students dying and me thinking, oh no, that character who did nothing to contribute to the story just perished, how can I possibly go on? Oh wait, I've never cared for them in the slightest. Now now all the characters were static and about as interesting as a rock, some were actually legitimately interesting, and and by some I mean two. The first is the main character Koichi Sakakibara, a 15 year old boy who recently moved in with his grandparents and his sister in Yomiyama due to his dad being away on some business and his mom who passed away giving birth to him about 15 years ago. Koichi is then transferred to Yomiyama Middle School where he encounters the mystery or what some would call even a curse of class 3-3. 
Now, as far as protagonists go, Koichi is rather boring. I say this because he seems to just not change much at all over the course of the story. He doesn't do anything too outlandish either. He seems to take rather appropriate actions considering his circumstances, which was good to see because it made him more easily able to sympathize with due to him doing things that normal people would do in his situation. Despite his lack of development, he does do a good job of being a rational protagonist, so overall he wasn't the best character, but he did make the story progress, so in the end I don't really have any complaints about him. The only other character of importance in this series is the beautiful, isolated girl, Mei Misaki. Now, at first glance, if you're like me, there's already one thing that makes Mei awesome in my eyes, and that is... She's got an iPad! That's wrong! That aside though, she also has a rather interesting story about her. Now I won't go into specifics, but finding out more about her was in my opinion one of the better parts about this show, simply due to the fact that she is so mysterious. I mean, from the way that she's maintaining her emotionless composure and the fact that she's being ignored by the whole class, I found her to be very interesting. So as far as characters go, I think that she was more interesting than Koichi, but she wasn't absolutely amazing either. Now like I said earlier, the remaining cast of characters all seem very static and rather unimportant. It is their lack of dimension and personality that makes them appear insignificant. I mean, honestly, everyone else can be pretty much described in one or two defining characteristics, which doesn't exactly make me care for them in the slightest due to me just thinking that they were merely cliché characters filling the roles of the victims. Anyway, I would have to say that the characters are by far, in my opinion, the weakest part of this anime. Now, the animation in the series is extremely well done, and it is the combination of the fluid animation and the extremely detailed backgrounds that make this anime one that is very easy on the eyes. The character designs themselves, in my opinion, were fairly good and did seem to fit this dark anime fairly well. Also, the fluidity that accompanied the characters in their bloodstained endeavors looked extremely fluid and never seemed to slip up in the slightest. The backgrounds that show the environments of Yomiyama really added to the creepy atmosphere of this series. All of the old and rusting buildings to the seemingly normal outdoor scenes only to find crows perched on roofs looking oh so hungry. This anime does a great job to expand upon its dark and ominous atmosphere by using backgrounds and set pieces to their fullest potential. Although there was one episode where they all went down to the beach, which although I'm a huge fan of the beach as you almost know by now, I must say it felt rather out of place as far as set pieces go, and I was wondering how they could possibly implement any horror at all at the beach, and all I could seem to think of was if they did something along the lines of this. <laughs> But that's my real only complaint as far as backgrounds go, and again, other than that, the backgrounds are absolutely phenomenal. One final thing I would like to mention in terms of art is that this anime does a splendid job with its ambient lighting in some of the indoor places such as hospitals and the doll shop, which is already creepy on its own. But the lighting really makes it that much better, with the flickering of the lights and how it casts the perfect amount of light on set pieces to really up the eerie factor of this show. Overall, PA Works delivers yet another anime that looks absolutely superb. Now as far as the soundtrack goes, it was fairly forgettable. It did raise suspense and tension when needed, but when nothing noteworthy was going on, the music really reflected that by either being really forgettable sounding, or in some cases felt as if it wasn't even there. I did like how the soundtrack never gave away what was going to really happen either, which really added to the surprise factor of the show, because it wasn't like there was any sort of dramatic crescendo when bad things were about to happen. Instead, the music was fairly consistent and never gave away the events of the anime. Now, that's not to say that the music didn't change when people were dying, because it certainly did. But what I mean was that there wasn't any indication as to when or what was going to happen to the people based upon the music, which I really liked. The most impressive thing as far as sound goes, in my opinion, is that this anime actually becomes more unnerving when the anime doesn't use all of its music and instead relies on the well-crafted array of sounds to really immerse the viewer in the world presented. So to put it simply, I found this soundtrack rather forgettable, but it doesn't mean that it, they didn't do a good job, I merely mean it could have been better. Also on a side note, this anime's opening, Kyomu Desen by Ali Project, really lived up to this genre's name because it was horrific, that's for sure. I mean seriously, it was one of the worst openings I've heard in years and in my opinion, an outright assault on the ears. The ending theme, Anamesis, by Annabelle wasn't too amazing either, but it was far better than this show's opening. Nevertheless, let's finish up this review. 
Now being one of my first horror anime I've seen, I actually liked another quite a bit. It has an interesting story, builds suspense, and I actually found it to be rather compelling. Another is only a few hours long, so I would say give it a shot. I know I enjoyed it, and I think most people would say the same thing. It isn't one of the scariest anime ever, and you probably won't lose any sleep over it, but I would still recommend checking it out. And also, if you do check it out, be sure to watch it late at night with some headphones on preferably. Trust me, it's actually a really fun experience, which you soon won't forget. So, on the Holden Review scoreboard, in which all scores are out of 10, another receives an 8.2 for its interesting and compelling story, an average 5.2 for characters because they were simply static and lacked development for the most part. Animation gets an 8.7 for being a big contributor to the show's overall creepy atmosphere. Sound is given a 6.7 for having good sound effects that really added to the mood of this anime. And my overall enjoyment for this anime receives a 7.8 for being enjoyable enough for me to want to watch continually week after week. Making the final score for another a good above average 7.32 and a stamp of Holden Approves. So that's it for this review of another, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did be sure to like this video and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe. Also be sure to leave your comments, questions and recommendations in the comments section below. So I'm Holden from Holden Reviews and until next time, sayonara, see you later.